Hello, this is Godwin Omobido of Web of Fortune. On this channel, Web of Fortune, we teach on uh, online money making opportunities, the opportunities that are valuable in the online space and how you can uh, take advantage of them and, uh, and work online. Because the online space is full of so much opportunities and uh, you can't afford not to um, be a beneficiary of what the online space has to offer. So on this channel, I teach on um, opportunity in the online space, affiliate marketing, making money with affiliate marketing. And this money, I want to zero in on uh, how to cl close a sale. 50 tips you must know to be able to close a sale as an affiliate marketer. And what is a sales closure in affiliate marketing? In affiliate marketing, a sales closure referred to a point at which a customer completes a purchase as a result of being referred by an affiliate. When an affiliate successfully refers a customer to a merchant website, the customer make a purchase. The affiliate is said to have closed the sale and we typically receive a commission for their effort. Sales closure is an important uh, matrix in affiliate marketing as it is the primary way that the affiliate are compensated for their works. Learning how to close sales is important for affiliate because it is the primary ways they can earn commissions and generate income through their marketing effort. Why is it, why is, is it important for affiliate to, to attract uh, customers and drive traffic to the merchant's website? Ultimately, it is the sales closure that determines the success of an affiliate marketing campaign without the ability to effectively close a sale to close say an affiliate might struggle to generate significant income through their marketing effort there are different uh, there are different techniques and strategies that affiliate can use to improve their sales closure sales closure research as using persuasive language highlighting the benefit of the product or services they offer addressing objections and offering a special deals and incentive by learning and practicing these techniques affiliate can increase their chances of closing sales and any commissions more commissions 50 tips on how to close the sale as an affiliate marketer number one identify your target audience and tailor your pitch to their needs and interests number two establish trust and confidential and credibility by providing relevant and accurate information number three use social social proof such as a customer's testimonial to show the other the others have had succeed with their product highlight number four highlight the benefit and value of the product rather than just listing the it features number five use scarcity and urgency techniques such as limited times offer and uh, limited uh, availability to encourage your audience to buy number six offer a money back guarantee to reduce the risk for of the customer number seven provide excellent customer service to build loyalty and increase your likelihood of repeating purchase number eight use a strong call to action such as buy now or sign up to clearly tell the customer what he wants what he wants them to do number nine make it easy for customers to complete the purchase by providing multi multiple payment options and a simple checkout process number ten follow up with the potential customers who have showed interest but have not yet made purchase number eleven personalize use personal personalization to make the customer feel like the product was made just for them number 12 offer special deals and discount to incentivize the customers and make them uh, to make a purchase number 13 use uh, storytelling to engage the customers and make them to feel a connection to the product number 14 use video to demonstrate the product and its features in a more interactive and engaging way number 15 utilize customers 
segmentations to tailor your pitch to a specific group of customers. Number 16, use the FOMO. FOMO main F, fear of missing out to encourage the customers to take advantage of limited opportunity. Number 17, offer a free trial or samples of the product to give the customers a test of what they are, will be getting. Number 18, use testimonials from expert or industrial leaders to add credibility to your pitch. Number 19, use social media to connect with potential customers and build relationship. 20, use email marketing to nurture and lead the state up of mind with potential customers. Number 21, create a sense of exclusivity by offering the product to a certain group of customers. 22, use customer reviews and rating to show that the product is trusted and well liked. Number 23, utilize the re retargeting apps to remind potential customers of your product and encourage them to complete purchase. Number 24, use live chat or chat boot to provide instant customer support and answer any question the customers may have. Number 25, use scarcity and urgency in the subject line of your, e of your email to grab the customer's attention and encourage them to take action. Number 26, personalize your email by using customer's name and uh, personal detail. 27, use uh, a clear and a concise subject line that convey the value of your product. Number 28, use a strong, uh, use strong and benefit driven pre-headers to further entice the customer to open email. Number 29, use a, a sense of urgency in your email copy to encourage the customer to take action. Number 30, use a, a bullet point to clearly highlight the benefit of the product and make it easy for your customer to assess. Number 31, use a, a clear and a compelling call to action button to make it easy for your customer to complete the purchase. 32, use social media influencer to promote your product to a larger audience. 32, 33, use a sense of exclusivity in your social media post to create a feeling of FOMO. Number 34, use uh, user-generated content such as uh, customer review testimonials in your social media post to add social proof. Number 35, use a sense of urgency in your social media post such as limited time offer or availability. Number 36, offer personal recommendations to customers based on their past purchases and browsing history. Number 37, use a countdown time to create a sense of urgency in your social media post and email. Number 38, offer a loyalty program or reward program to incentivize repeated purchase. Number 39, use personalized email or abandon cut email to remind customers of their remind customer of the items they have left in the cart and encourage them to complete their purchase. And number 40, um, use customers uh, segmentation to create targeted email campaign in your social media. If this teaching is giving you value, you can subscribe to my email email channel email to subscribe to my youtube and uh, hit the red button click the bell so that when a subsequent uh, subsequent video come you can have it and uh, also that the youtube algorithm well, can help promote uh, this teaching thanks